Hey everybody, thank you for coming to the channel. This is Lasso of Truth, and today's unboxing and review is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. It's the Freddy figure, and it's by NECA. It's actually the ultimate Freddy um, by NECA, and um, I, I really like this figure, and I'd like to know what your thoughts are, so let me know what you think about it in the comment section below, and thank you for watching. And here he is out of the box, and I'm going to give you a first impression of him, his overall look. First, we'll take him out of the stand. And I'll give you a close-up of his, of his head. Um, I really like the details in that they put in his in his head sculpt. You can see how where the um, flesh is missing on his face that it kind of has like a like a wet look um i thought that was a nice touch it's instead of just being like all one uh finish that you can see the contrast in it his glove is also really well done there's a lot of detail in his glove and i'm taking that off to give you a closer look um you can really see this is a very detailed, they really put a lot of uh, thought into that glove, like the way it's made. And just his general look, um, I they, they did a good job with uh, making his clothes look real with the wrinkles and um, how the sweater kind of looks dirty and the pants look real to the point where the joints are kind of pretty much camouflaged in the wrinkles. So I really like the way that that was done. Um, yeah, so first impressions, I'm, I'm good with it. And now we'll get into the accessories that he comes with. Um, this is the one of his alternate heads. This is um, one, this is a uh, serious face of his. Uh, very very similar to the one one he comes with, um, but you can see that there's a a bit of a difference, and I I really like the details in this as well. Same kind of thing with the contrast in the paint, and another head where he's missing a whole the whole front of his face. I really love the way that that looks. That I, that just is. It tickles me. Um, but yeah, m more details on this little head sculpt. I'm very happy with it. Loving the way that that came, came out. And this is a, another hand that he comes with. You remember the part in the movie where he cuts off his two fingers? Um, so that, that was cool that they included that in there. And this is Tina's face that he comes with. You remember that scene where he's breaking into Nancy's house? And I'll show you that in a minute. And here's his hat. Um, a nice little Indiana Jones type hat. Basically looks the same. Um, I, I really love this. It has nice details. And I'll demonstrate how it fits perfectly on the head. Um, no problems at all. It's not too tight, not loose, nothing. It stays put very nicely. So I really like that. And same with the alternate head. If you want to put it on this guy, that's a, just a funny look if you want that. And here is the phone that it comes with. And it, it shows the, the part where the, the tongue is coming out of the phone when, when Nancy answers the phone. And this actually has really good details. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's really good. <laughs> okay, and now I want to show you guys, um, I showed you the face accessory that he comes with, and I thought it would be cool to demonstrate how it actually works, because 
Um, it actually does go on this particular face. This is his, there are two faces that look alike, and this is the one that looks more serious. And the reason why that's important is because inside this face, if you turn it around, you can see that there's a spot um, where the, the, the nose fits in and a little kind of like a, a spot for the chin as well, those two spots. And I'll demonstrate how it goes on this face for you. Just like that. And it stays on. So you can keep it on like that. And I just thought that that was a really cool uh, accessory that they put in with it. Because um, that's just a kind of a blip in, in the movie. But I really like that they added it. So yeah, I thought that was cool. <laughs> I really love this movie, and I I am really liking this figure. Um, so here he is in his stand uh, with all of his accessories, um, the way I usually do display them on the carousel. And overall, I'm very happy with this figure. One thing I did forget to mention um, when I was showing the overall impression was that on my particular figure, um, one of his legs is longer than the other. So, um, he really doesn't stand correctly without a stand. Um, for me personally, that's not really an issue, um, because I keep them in a stand no matter what. But if you're looking for them, you know, to stand on their own and to get them into poses without a stand, there, um, that may be an issue. And I don't, this could just be the one that I got. I don't know if this is for all of the Freddy figures, but overall I'm happy and I'd love to know your thoughts. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.